The Royal Irish Regiment are back home at their base at Turnhill in Shropshire after a gruelling six months in Afghanistan. Over the past few days, they've received a hero's welcome in their local towns across the county. Fiona Weir was there. Cheers rang through Market Drayton yesterday to welcome home the Royal Irish Regiment. Thousands lined the route as the soldiers made their way to St Mary's Church for a service of thanksgiving. The battalion lost three soldiers during the tour and among those in the congregation were the widow of Lance Corporal Stephen McKee and local MP and Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, Owen Patterson. A reception followed at the Royal British Legion, giving the soldiers a chance to reflect on the day. Really happy, it's nice to have everyone back and see everyone together again. So. Now, the last time I saw you all, you were patrolling in Afghanistan, now parading through the UK streets. Great honour. Yeah, it is. It's good to see all the, the people out supporting us. It's a real, uh, brings it all home, just that there is support here for us. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, as you can see, looking around, the reception we've been given today by the people of Market Drayton has been first class, and uh, we're all very happy to be back with our families and friends again. I think I had an apple in my throat at one stage, uh, just you know, walking through the town, just taking aback. There's so many people taking their time off their day on a Monday. They, they welcome us into the town, so it's a uh, big thank you for them. Yeah, we do appreciate it. Today it was the turn of Shrewsbury to show their support for the troops and the local people didn't disappoint, lining the streets from the town centre to the Abbey. It's a real honour to be invited to parade here in, uh, in Shrewsbury, just as it was a great honour to parade yesterday in Market Drayton and the reception uh, home has been really tremendous. Next up for the troops is some well-deserved post-operational tour leave before they get back and start preparing for their freedom parades in Northern Ireland, which will take place in May. Fiona Weir, Forces News, Shropshire.